everyone, and welcome back uh, to the Adventure News Network. Today's broadcast is about the brand new Palea uh, 1.8.1 patch, Blooming Bounties. Um, so we are going over some Palea news tonight. Uh, there's a new patch. Super excited. Uh, let's just get right into it. There's a lot. As you can see from this picture, there's kind of a lot going on. Do I need to hold on? I might need to zoom out. I am so sorry. Give me a second. We're just going to. Oh, yeah. I was way zoomed in. I don't know why. Okay. So at a glance. We've got some building blocks. We got party buffs. There's just a whole bunch, a whole bunch of stuff to cover. That y'all, there's baby dragons. There's baby dragon pets now, which is just like absolutely incredible. Anyway, so um, the first thing we're gonna cover. They have put new building blocks. And you know how they did the building blocks with the last patch? Now there's even more. And they are doing like gold ones. Like that's like, actually, I should zoom in. I don't know why I, I, I zoomed out. Um, so these are like gold building blocks. Um, so like gold, silver, copper. Um, these are actually really cool. I didn't know how I felt about the wooden ones. But now that I see these like gold ones, I honestly, I think these could actually make really cute accents in our museum, which I haven't worked on yet. But in like our trophy room, in particular I feel like especially these little gold blocks could be really good to be like little um like and like the little angled one but the, these gold blocks in particular with their little decor like decorations on them I feel like they could actually be really good like little like plinths or like um pedestals to put like trophies on and stuff like I think that'd be like a really good decorative accent to put like our little trophies on and like like awards and stuff on or like valuable items like the gemstones the star quality gemstones we've got and stuff so that's that's something that uh uh we'll probably be doing soon with those so those are really cool um i don't know how much gold it's gonna take to make each of them um but we'll just we'll figure it out so um okay so the other big thing this is actually something that intimidates me a little bit um so there's party buffs now and a lot of this has to do with like having a party in paleo i have never played with other players before so this is something we're maybe gonna have to like research you for the future but first off um fun loot fact uh they are now doing this thing with the loot where the loot is actually going to show up on the map for you like on the mini map thank god like when you hunt something the loot will show up on the mini map which is incredible i'm so relieved by that because you'd have to sometimes it would glitch and you have to go hunting for it and it would just be like a terrible pain so that's kind of the vibe on that but there's actually there's party so there's party buffs you get like a whole bunch of buffs doing stuff together as a party and like doing them near each other obviously and then they have party rewards so the more that you do stuff in a party um the more they will actually give you these rewards towards the party people accomplishments um and once you hit the different five levels of the party people accomplishments you get the seeds to grow furniture and this furniture is so cute i look at that chair there's like a gazebo it's so cute i'm gonna have to figure out how to like do a party with people in order to get this stuff because it's so adorable and so i'm stressed because i'm socially anxious so we're gonna have to figure out how to socialize but oh my gosh these are so pretty you can only get these by doing party stuff so that's that's kind of the thing um other big news so we've got some stuff going on in zeki's underground as well with this patch so there is a spin the wheel now the zeki's prize wheel is actually here and you get prize wheel coins from playing hot pot so they actually are making playing hot pot worth it now of you'll get these prize coins and then it takes two of them to spin the wheel to get one coin every time you finish a game of hot pot and you get two coins if you win so it's like an you know like a bonus for winning or whatever um but there's new goods for the prize wheel there is a so there there's some new goods for the prize wheel so there is jumbo plushies <laughs> they're like the regular plushies but you doctor you're huge um so the big maji big chapa big uh big fishy terrifying and there is a brand new pirate decor set which is so cute honestly i love anything ocean themed and i'm just like living for this so pirate decor set incredible and you can get those from um zeki's prize wheel as well um and then you can also buy from the black market register just some coin piles which i think is definitely going to go into our like fancy section of the museum so um that's cool um there is a home tour board which we're going to be definitely be checking out tonight where tish will actually take you to um a dream home so you can get some inspiration for some home design which i don't know about you i need some home inspiration for 
Haley, there's so many cool options, and like I've seen players do incredible things with their with their homes and stuff. So we'll definitely do the home tours tonight. That'll be really cool. Um, so we're gonna go like tour the dream home. There were some login rewards. I did get those. We will get back to that in a second, but I did I did get those, so don't worry about it. Um, there's Twitch drops, uh, as I just mentioned at the beginning, um, and then also um, there's a partner collaboration, which is interesting. I don't know what that means. Anyway, we've got some improvements. Um, we've got some party stuff. Um, we've got um, a little Frogbert plush, and you have the chance to win Ed Zucky's machine. Um, so that's cool if you don't have Frogbert, if you didn't have a chance to get Frogbert. You can also fish in the black market underground, which is fine. Um, health bars will appear above the creatures you're, creatures you're hunting, so that's really cool. You can actually see like the health of the animals now. That's amazing. Um, loot bags will be on the compass. Um, so, okay, guys. So, the premium shop stuff. There are baby dragons. So, there's first off, they actually arranged the like the browsing side of the premium shop to like be able to browse for the cosmetics easier. But okay, so there's some there's some new, there's some new stuff going on. So there's landscapes, so you can change the look of your housing plot, which is incredible. And they're also they are so you know how you can have different like slots of your housing plot. Like I think you have up to like five or something like that. You can change each individual individual slots. If you want one of your slots to be like a forest, you can. One of your slots to be a a mountains, you can. And one of the slots to be a beach, you can. This the potential for this is unbelievable. I had already planned on making my using my other slots to be like different themed houses and stuff, but these are amazing and I'm like I'm floored by how cool these look. Like they're so awesome. Also, there are Drake pets now, which we will take a look at tonight. They're so stupid cute. There's five Drake pets. So there's the four basic types that are like elemental themed and then a heart fang Drake, which is kind of Sailor Moon themed and it can fly and everything. Um, so they have element inspired designs for the other ones. They all also have their own unique like idol animations each of them have their own unique ones so that's adorable there's also y'all there's more premium shop outfits the mermaid one's actually really speaking to me look at how pretty it is like holy cow it's so gorgeous so we're gonna have to take a look and see what that looks like on our character tonight but that's crazy um and then um there's um oh they're gonna do these sleep froggy bundles but it looks like they're gonna be a little bit later there's also like a pirate bundle with some like facial hair and like a like a like a like a thing there's just some more outfits Ooh, that, that explorer i i didn't see that explorer out for the first time i looked at this we should check that out because that has actually kind of themed it's kind of me themed. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, <laughs> um, starting on July 9th, so that'll actually be soon. So, and then this really epic looking witch outfit, which is incredible. And it has its own special animation where whenever you use your paraglider, it's a broom instead. Unbelievable. So cool. So, um, that's really nifty. And also there's like a witch bundle, um, like tool set as well, which is really cool. Um, so a hunting bow and a gardening tool hoe skin. So that's cool. Anyway, then there's some bug fixes and stuff, but that doesn't matter. We're going to watch really quickly. Um, cause we're almost done. We're, we're almost done with this bit. We're going to watch, they had a little trailer. So we're going to watch a little trailer real quick. So just let's, let, let's watch the little trailer with all the extra stuff in it. I think I had turned the trailers down at one point. Let me. <laughs> oh my god. I'm like, at the background, they're just so cool. They're just so cool. Uh, I just, I love the way people decorate their houses in Paleo and the ways, the ways you can decorate your house. The witch outfit's just so cool. I love it. And the spiral staircase, we haven't gotten the big house yet. We need to. Oh my god. Ooh. <laughs> oh, they hop! Oh, they hop! I can't! <laughs> oh, oh, I still need a plushie. We still don't have a dang plushie. Look at the flying! Oh my god, look at the flying! And I love the tools. I want all of them. Oh, the darn thing here. Oh! Beautiful shot of everyone at the at the end. So cute. I love that. That's adorable. So I love their trailers. I think nope, nope. We do not need autoplay. Thank you very much. I love their trailers so much. I think they're very cute. And then just we have one more thing before we get into the game. Um, sort of an interesting announcement. So Singularity, 
has Singularity 6, which is the developers for Palea, have been acquired by another company called Daybreak. I don't know much about this. Um, uh, so they're joining forces with the Daybreak Game Company, known for publishing and supporting some of the world's most popular, successful online multiplayer franchises, such as EverQuest, Lord of the Rings Online, and more, H1Z1. Um, so they're basically, quote unquote, partnership, partnering or getting acquired by them. I'll be interested to see how this changes the way the game is run in the future. I'm not surprised by it. That's sort of been the capitalistic mindset as companies just get founded and then they get acquired like pretty quickly but we're just gonna kind of see what this does i hope it doesn't affect the game negatively in any way but oftentimes when acquisitions happen like they change up their approach and stuff i do think paley has been doing a lot of amazing things recently so like with the whole the 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 the, the more the pe more pets better skins like it really does seem like they've added a lot like different price things in the store like the fact that tool buns tool bundles were so cheap like the tool skins and stuff they've been doing a lot of stuff that i think has been really positive lately so i'm hoping that this acquisition will be a positive thing but that's just sort of the last bit of tea i guess that we have before we start the game so um we're gonna get into it um but if you are watching on youtube uh in post for this um if you would like to see us play this update live um and just see us cover the news live in general general please feel free to check out uh twitch.tv slash amy's underscore adventures or be on this youtube channel whenever i am streaming which as of this recording my stream schedule is monday wednesday friday at 7 p.m eastern time um uh, starting at 7 p.m eastern time so uh, but you can always check in the about pages of any of my stuff and it'll show what the most current stream schedule is so um but yeah uh thank you everybody so much for watching um tune in uh next week for next week's broadcast i believe we'll be getting some supermarket simulator news uh we had an update in supermarket simulator so that is going to sort of uh be uh the thing so uh, in the words of a very wise man and the paraphrase words of a very wise man um be careful going out your front door you never know where you'll be swept off to but i dear viewers believe that it is going to be an adventure uh, thank you and see you next time